The power is just unrelenting and almost indescribable. Hi, I'm Brad Franz from Chevrolet Marketing. And today I'm here with Josh Holder on the introduction of the all new Corvette ZR1. Josh, we understand the team's been super excited about this, but before we dive into ZR1, can we just talk a little bit about the journey that we've been on and what Corvette has meant over the last couple of years leading up to this point? We planned the ZR1 from the beginning. So with the Stingray, followed by the Track Ready Z06, followed by the all weather capability of the E-Ray, the hardware that goes in each of those cars uh, was planned from the beginning, which is why the LT7 evolved from the LT6. It's still got that flat plane crank, high revving magic, uh, but this time the equipped turbochargers really bring the power to these unbelievable levels. And you know, when you sit and you look at the car, it just looks fast, right? Like every Corvette. How important is it to also keep the design cues that have made this generation of Corvette so special? Well. Keeping the foundation lets us keep the fantastic mid-engine proportions. The cues on the ZR1 expand upon its performance. So everything you see on the outside of the ZR1 has some functional purpose, and many of them have more than one functional purpose. The intercooler heat exchanger in the hood, not only does it cool the charge air, but it also helps create front downforce. Let's talk about the numbers. Can you give us a rundown of what ZR1s bring into the table here? Brad, the numbers are incredible. 1,064 horsepower, more than 800 foot-pounds of torque from 3,000 RPM to 6,500 RPM, more than 1,000 pounds of downforce at top speed, and a quarter mile time well under 10 seconds. It's gonna be the fastest Corvette that we've ever done. Okay, all right, well, that's an important one here. Let's, let's just take a step back. Fastest Corvette ever. Are you confirming 212 plus today? significantly faster than 212 miles an hour. It's wow. absolutely incredible. And when you start to think about the acceleration, how does that feel? It's, it's really mind blowing. Uh, the first time you get in the car, you, you're, you get this experience that's like, oh my God, what did I just feel? But it doesn't go away. It never disappoints. You never get used to this kind of power. It's always special, it's always enjoyable. So the ZR1 represents the first ever factory turbocharged Corvette. When you think about turbochargers, some might say, hey, there's gonna be some lag, you know, it takes a little bit of time to spool up. What are some of the things that you all did as a team to mitigate that? That's a great question, Brad. And these turbochargers are massive, uh, 76 millimeter compressors. So in the design of the turbocharger, we phase the exhaust cams and the engine to keep turbo speed as high as possible. We change ignition timing, throttle position, and we have a special wastegate that's electronically controlled. So we can use those features to keep turbo speeds as high as possible. So when you're exercising the ZR1 on the twisty roads, your favorite place to drive, or even on the track, that massive power and torque is always available. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, Josh, thanks so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. I think everyone's gonna be extremely excited about what the 2025 Corvette Zero One has to offer. You guys really rocked it. Thanks for giving us a vehicle like this. Thank you, Brad. We can't wait to share it with the world. 